Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Light Beam's Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another educational video into the wonderful world of retail arbitrage and eBay selling. Yes, I'll admit, it's been a few days since I've been doing this video. I have been extremely under the weather. And that's one of the things I want to talk about, is how your business will be affected based on how you are affected. But before I go into that, if you like my videos, if you like my adventures or misadventures in some cases, then please hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button, throw in a comment. I would love to answer some questions that you may have and also explore any journeys that you have along the way. Now, as you can tell, I've been extremely under the weather. But yet, that's no excuse not to focus on my business. If I want my business to thrive, I need to put some effort into it. At the same time, there is an effect on it. If I'm not feeling 100% myself, then what's going to happen is my performance will not be up to standard. The way I handle customer transactions will not be up to standard. I mean, I've been told that what I need to do is rest and relax. So far, I've been doing that for three days straight. In fact, one of the days I was a blur. I don't even remember what happened that day. It's like I completely skipped a day in my life. But I did notice an interesting trend. The first trend is, is yes, I can actually take three days off because I still had sales. There were still items being sold. And although at some point from my zombie little coma, I ended up wrapping up those packages and sending them out, I made those sales. On the other hand, there was a decline in sales as well, which means because there's no new fresh products coming out, I'm not getting as much traffic as I normally get. So the first rule I'm going to give you is that your business thrives on how much effort that you put into it. A lot of people try to do this part-time mixed with other activities. Some people do this full-time. If you consistently set a time schedule and put that effort in every single day, then you will see the benefits of that happening. Because I didn't put in for the last three days a consistent effort, I'm seeing what happened in my case. But I do want to go over some of the sales I've made because some of them are really cute and some of them are memorable. The first one was actually, I had it up for eBay for a while, but then I decided to join a Facebook group. And that's lesson number one I'm going to teach you is if you have certain niche items, join one of the Facebook groups that specialize in those items because that is going to branch out to people who are interested in that item. It'll also help you make connections at network to people who will either buy or sell or trade or do those other things, or it'll just expand your friends list and get your name out there. So I joined a couple of the tea society groups because I have a whole bunch of unique teaware that I'm selling. So it just so happens, and I'm going to show you this because this is adorable. Look how beautiful and delicate this is. Now I'm going to see if you can get it closer. It is a beautiful Victorian with the man and the woman tea set. And if you could look inside, I don't know if you could see, beautiful iridescent, you can't see, but it's a rainbow mermaid iridescent shiny. Now the thing about this is there's absolutely no maker's mark whatsoever. But you know something? Just because the beauty and delicateness of this particular item, I was still able to sell this for $15. And because I joined that Facebook group and started putting a lot of my teacups up, I am getting a lot of responses. Um, I've been getting emails. I've been getting messages from people who are interested in my tea sets. So that's a little trick of the trade is join some of the Facebook groups depending on the niches and I guarantee you'll see some of the sales going. Now, I also sold a lot of my old books. You may have seen my last video where I had um, the case that I had to purge a lot of my inventory because it reposted, 
it reposted a bunch of inventory that I didn't have. Now, I will be honest with you, because I've been sick, those books are still on the floor. <laughs> I did not get through it. My plan is, over the next few days, is to continue to go through the books. But, being that I went through some of the books, I'm starting to see that some of those books are actually selling. So, I'm going to show you this little interesting one. I gotta read this. It is the Thomas Jefferson Building Library of Congress, Blaine Marshall and Alexander Hovland. It is all about the Thomas Jefferson Building. It's a elongated book, cute little pictures, descriptions, everything about Thomas Jefferson. Good classic um, uh, book about history. And this little guy sold for $5. I had him up forever. He's part of my $5 purge all the book sale. So I was able to sell him. The next book I sold, and I already wrapped it up because I was preparing to ship it, but I thought, let me make a video. Texas Poets. Now, um, and this one's by, uh, from Hyde and Horn, a sequential anthology of Texas poets, compiled by Petty, Pe Peggy Lucilia Lynch and Edmund C. Lynch. So it's a book on Texas poetry. I live in Texas, so I get a lot of Texas-type style books. And interesting enough, the people who buy the Texas-style books are not Texans. It's people out of state. So what I've noticed is that certain demographics go like crazy on eBay. So if you have any California books, any New York books, any Alaskan books, those are the big ones, Texan books. You have um, books about those particular states. People seem to love it and they buy it. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, this guy I did have for a while. Not in the best condition, but it's a nice hardcover book. Whoops. I sold this for $9. So that's going to be going out today. Now, so that that's um, the second thing to look out for is look for those demographic type books and refresh your old inventory. Now, in refreshing my old inventory, I also sold another two-pack book. And what's great about this is I had two copies of this book. They have been sitting for quite a while. And then all of a sudden, now that I'm refreshing my items, tweaking them a little, both of them sold within two days, back to back. I'm so happy. It is Lifespan Development, Research Stories for Lifespan and Development, by Alan Morrison, Larry Schaefer. Both of these books sold for $40 each. They are textbooks. I'm assuming it's for classes involving um, children. Um, it could be either medical or it could be teaching, but it's, um, or it could even be psychological. I don't know, it is a textbook. Remember, I'm in a, a college town, so I get a ton of textbooks uh, for free. And these were one of them, but the fact that I sold not one, but two of them in the last three days for $40 each made me really happy. In fact, I think this was the sale that actually made the past few days worth it, was the fact that two books that I got for free, $40 each made $80. They only cost $3 to ship, which has been absolutely wonderful. So that was it on what I sold, is the three books, the mug, a couple other things did end up going out, some books, but I didn't track them as far as um, this list. But to go over a couple of things, because like I said, obviously you can tell I am not feeling well. My voice doesn't sound well. Maybe my attitude is not up to the normal, happy, hyper self that I'm usually. That's going to affect your business. That's going to affect in the people you deal with, in phone calls that you make, in the interactions that you make with others. And that can have a profound effect. Now I'm hoping everything turns around and gets on a positive string because once I start getting better, my plan is to flood eBay with so many items that I have that I still need to put up and also start going through some of my dead end junk pile well, I should call it dead end. I shouldn't call it junk because it's not junk. People will actually buy it. But by posting those items, I'll start seeing the sales increase. So just to go over a couple of things. One, if you have multiple items of something, like for example with the books, the trend that I personally see 
is that once the one item sells, usually the others will follow pretty quickly. It just takes that hurdle of getting that first item to sell. So if you see something that you have um, a large quantity of, like if it's one item, two items, three items, like you have more than two items up, try to tweak that auction some way. Whether it's lowering the price, whether it's adding a better description, maybe adding one extra picture, changing something in the title. Because I guarantee once you sell that first item from, from that um, auction, you'll start selling the rest of them. The second thing is refresh your old items. And I just told you about this. Add those pictures. Change the title. Do something. Spark it up. Because... Um, what happens is I really think the algorithm brings it up to the top of the list. It gets it out there. They don't want to see old items. I mean, a lot of people say to end items and then relist it as opposed to letting it automatically relist because you'll have a better chance that the item won't be so old and dated. Try to post every single day even if it's only a few items, and do what you can. I mean, try to set up a budget time for yourself, or at least a goal. If your minimum is, say, five items a day, and only five items, try to do the minimum five items a day. If you have a day where you post 100 items, good for you. I mean, you're on a roll, stay on the high. The fact is, the more that you post, the better your chances are to sell. Also, Utilize that send offer feature. I mean, a lot of people I hear do not use that feature. That's probably one of the best features that eBay has because what it's doing is you're giving an opportunity to send an offer to someone who's either watching your item or actually clicked on your item. That means somewhere out there, somebody specifically clicked that item and now you have an opportunity to send them an offer. You can even send a special message and personalize it to them. Use that feature. I mean, even if you take a few dollars off or a percentage off of your sale, wouldn't you rather make a sale than have an item sitting? So use that feature, the send offer feature. The only catch to that particular feature is if somebody is viewing your item, it probably is another reseller as well. So you're just sending an offer to somebody who is completely not interested in it. They were just interested more in to gain some information because they're selling the same item. And the final thing is your business thrives on how, you, how much work you put into it. If you put in little effort, then your business will give you little. I mean, it won't grow as much. You put a lot of effort into it. In time, you will see how your business grows. Now, I hope to be in better spirits tomorrow. And I want to start making these videos once again. But wish me luck, everybody. I want you to have a great weekend because this is the weekend of sales. I mean, every weekend, that's where your sales go up. So I wish everyone a good weekend, a good day. Get out there, go hunting for those items, those thrifting items, those sale items, and flip them on eBay. Take care, everyone.